هون اجت القد فك تصوريها فيك تطلعي ما سبحا This woman returned to her home in the border village of Ait al-Shab during the ceasefire. هون كنت واقفه هون فصرخ ابني قال لي انزلوا من البيت يعني خفنا الانقاذ يكون ضربت وبتعيد الضرب The woman fled the village with her husband and their son when border clashes between Hezbollah and Israel first started. She blames their displacement on one party in particular. Israel, inshallah, let's go. Let's go, inshallah. And all the time she did not hear us, we will not be able to do it. We are all together, inshallah. Another woman who remained in the village despite clashes shares the sentiment. Despite the fact that Israeli missiles have fallen literally in her backyard, she urges villagers to stay and to resist. فطايس انا بقول لهم ام العز عيتا وما كانت شباب هون؟ ااا مدافعين ايه عندنا ابطال نحن The presence of these fighters is one of the reasons the village has been targeted by Israel. In the surrounding streets, dozens of Hezbollah flags sway alongside portraits of the latest martyr. 26 year old Yusuf Shawad was killed a day before the ceasefire. During our visit to the south, his family agreed to meet with us. راحة سورية وعمل دورة هون عندنا بجنوب كمان شي شهر ونص أول شي ضرب الطيران فراء كان ضربت يعني عم مجاهدين فانجرحوا رجع ضربت كمان ثاني مرة عم هو راح بده يروح ينقذ حدا من من رفقاته الجرحة فضربت ال Over 80 Hezbollah fighters like Jawad have died in South Lebanon since October 8th. Most of those that died were young recruits. But in Aita Shab, many families are proud and prepared to sacrifice their sons for the resistance. <laughs>